All right, so I've already done a full video about replacing Lego 9 volt wires, um, but I wanted to add on this one. This is for the 9 volt train wires. And for extra credit, I'm using, gonna use the ferrite choke on there. <laughs> um, so that's what, that's what you start with. But I've already got, I've got a few, so I'm, I've got one already um, cut apart. So I've cut the wires on both sides here. And uh, so we'll start by getting this apart. And this is a two millimeter flathead. And you've got one, two, three, you just wanna push those out. And kind of get one side started without letting it drop back in. Oh, come on. It's a little bit of a pain, but it's not too bad. <laughs> I keep getting a couple and then the others pop out. All right. Start on the other side. You're gonna kind of pop down. Should be able to do that. Yep, the clips are still out. And then you can kind of go in the sides here and pull it out the rest of the way. And so this is what you're looking at. These two blades right here is what actually punctures the wire and makes contact. If you don't trust it, you can. Um, once you've got this thing apart, you can just kind of solder something in place if you want. Um, but I've actually had very good luck just using the system that's already in place. All right, now we're going to switch to a small Phillips head. Um, you got one Phillips head screw in there. And to get this guy out, you usually have to use the wire to help you. And this rubber stuff is going to go everywhere, which is awesome. You can just kind of grab the wires and pull straight out to get this red piece out. And this one's not that bad. A lot of times the wire tends to, or the insulation tends to kind of gunk up and you can just kind of scrape it off and get it out of the way. Okay, now you've got everything you need to start going back in. All right, so I'm gonna. This is the wire I'm using: Bean Tech Go 24 gauge um, silicone insulated six conductor wire, and you just split it off, pull off a pair of wires, and then um, I've already gotten started here on the other side. Um, and this this wire works really great. I'm really happy with it. But I go into more detail in the other video. Uh, and if you're, it's thirty-three dollars for the roll. Works out to forty-four cents per foot after you've split it into three sections. All right, so you've got the teeth um, blade on that side. So for this first connector, make sure it's actually going to go in, because if it's on the other side, you know, if you had the wire coming from this way, and it wasn't all the way through, then it's it's not going to have anything to uh, to puncture. And I'm just going to snap it back together, just like that. Okay, now very important um, thing to notice is that it might be hard to tell on this one just because it's so frayed and everything. This is one I made years ago with a wire from an AC adapter. But if you'll notice, if the wire's straight, they're actually gonna be flipped. And you have to do this um, to get the polarity right. So you're gonna have positive on one side, negative on the other, instead of having positive on both sides and no difference in potential, you're not gonna get anything done that way. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to line it up 
and just kind of see. I want to make sure I have enough of a loop of a wire. Um, that's probably fine. I'd rather have a little bit extra than not enough. Okay, so that's how we want it, just like that. Started pushing it down. Hopefully, I didn't bend it too much. Uh, these things are kind of a pain. Okay, let's get our Phillips head bit. straighten these just want to make sure they're nice and straight oh boy so I'm gonna kind of start clipping on the other side and then push it all together now before we go any further I'm gonna test and make sure We've got continuity. So I've already got my multimeter set up. This is going to be fun. Um, how can I do this? I only got two hands. I got a tripod in the way. So I'm going to touch one of the wires on the end there. one side and then um, I was testing the same wire on this side against this other one all right so we got continuity on both sides and um, never hurts to check and do this several times throughout this process and make sure you don't have a short circuit which we do not now, where'd I put it? This guy's tons of fun. I've already pulled it apart once to make sure I knew how it came apart. Um, but the clips are actually on the ends that hold it together. And this is, again, it's optional, it's extra credit. Most people do not use this. Um, but just in case, if you wanna do it just like um, it was from the factory, you can uh, try to split this thing apart and use it. Okay, so now we got one side open. Flip to the other side. And just kind of just pry it open. Ah, this insulation stuff's going everywhere. And this is just a ferrite uh, choke, um, I believe, um, for noise suppression. I believe it's for high frequency noise. Um, whether it really matters in this I don't know but I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and use it so we're gonna run our wire through it and um, just to check yeah so it's gonna go right next to that first one we'll just get it about like that and then run our wire through again All right, that looks good. Again, I'm just so impressed with how well this wire works for this. All right, maybe not super great here, but <laughs> for the connectors and everything. Let's see if I can make, I don't, okay. The wire's on the side there. If I can 
keep it straight. Snap it together. There we go. And now for the other side. Um, I don't know if I have. Well, all right. And again, this is covered in my other video how to do this, so I won't go into quite as much detail here. You may have already done this before. Um, I think for a lot of people, the main thing they'll get out of this video is um, the wire that I'm using. Because um, I've tried several different wires over the course of 10 years. <laughs> and um, this stuff blew me away. It just came in the mail a few days ago. And I've been thoroughly happy with it. Right, make sure these are straight. Okay. And you want to leave a little bit of overhang there. Push it down to the channel. That ought to be good. And well, that wasn't the smoothest I've ever done that, but <laughs> should be fine. Flip it over. Make sure all four. That doesn't look right. Come on. There we go. Multimeter. Well, <laughs> gotta start over with the uh, with this guy. Okay, now I'm going back in. It's actually a different connector. I kind of broke a little plastic piece on there, but it's okay. I've got plenty. <laughs> that's not even all. That's just. The ones I've cut, I've got entire bags full of broken wires. Oh, this one might not have took either. Because it's really giving me trouble snapping in on that side. Okay, no short. One side. And there's the other side. There you go. Just to make sure we got the length of wire right. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. This looks just like it did from the factory, which is much better than like stuff like this I've made over the years. <laughs> Like this one's actually too short. <laughs> it just so give yourself a little leeway. I thought I had too much, but this is actually the perfect amount here. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed. If you're if you want to know a little more about this stuff, again I've got a, a longer video about doing. Um, this is a sensor I did, um, and just doing wires stuff like that. So you can check that out if you want to. All right, thanks.